Life is a game, but you forgot how to play, forgot, because you knew how to play when you were young, right? You were always playing, weren't you? But as you got older, you may have forgot how to win. You started to look for games to play, and you started to play by the rules. Often AFK, away from the keyword, and you became an NPC, a non-player character. Why? Because could it be that you haven't realized the only game there is to play? Most people play without ever having really lived. Before we continue, big disclaimer, I'm a conditioned individual just like you. I'm not better than you, I'm not smarter, I haven't mastered life yet, even though I've made some realizations that are absolutely true. Don't believe my words, don't believe anyone. Question for yourself, that's what I want to say. Many people play different games. Popular one is the game of status, right? There's not a best game to play and there's not a bad game to play. Everyone just plays one or two. Some even win, some even win big but most never win what they want they only win what they think they want i hope you heard that i mean not hearing it in the sense of hearing the words i hope you truly heard that for it took me a long time to realize most people don't know which game to play in life so they can never win and some think they have found their game but never realize it's not the game to play so my question to you what game are you playing right now i mean playing a game let alone winning requires that you understand what game you are playing i mean you can't stop playing you cannot leave what you cannot see you can do nothing with the joystick if you don't know the game you play many people are playing the game of status, money, love, or power, whatever it is, without realizing that those games will never end their suffering and their pain in life. And I'm not saying they should want to end their pain. What I'm saying is that most have not realized that that may be the thing that they look for, that that may be the thing they want. So what I'm saying is that if people only realize that the pain that they feel, that that can go away forever, that they can no longer feel pain in their life, no more suffering, no more stress, whatever the emotion may be, whatever the negative association with that feeling may be, that doesn't have to be there. And if people only knew that this is possible, then maybe they would start playing that game. I'm not sure. I only know that this has been true for myself and reminds me of a quote from Naval, when you're finally wealthy, you realize that it wasn't the thing you were looking for in the first place. And in this case, replace wealthy with any popular game people play. The game of status, love, becoming famous, whatever it is. And I realized for myself after years of playing the game of money, that it isn't the thing that I want to play because the thing that I get from playing the game is not the thing that I want or not the thing that I want most. By the way, if you're new here, I'm Jordan, 23 years old, did over $4 million in revenue, hired over 50 people, started making videos on YouTube since 2012. And I was playing the game of money. I'm not saying that this is bad, I just realized for myself that the result from that is not what I want. And many people, I would say, play the game of status. I did too. And what you see a lot in society is people want to appear rich, appear like something, appear to be happy, but aren't happy inside and as long as you try to appear free you can never be free because other people will always control how you feel you will always be dependent on their judgment on your freedom you can never have enough money you can never have enough fans you can never have enough love nobody and nothing can ever give you the freedom from anything and anyone in your life and maybe the freedom from everything is the thing you're looking for i'm not making a statement just ask yourself could it be that you started to play lots of different games after you were born without realizing you are the game the only game there is mastering myself self mastery that that is the end boss unlike the other games people are playing the game of self mastery is internal there is no leaderboard kpi or number to measure the score cannot be compared to others the game cannot be played together i mean there's no multiplayer mode and there is no group chat there is only you you are alone because a tiny percentage are playing this game and the likelihood you will ever find one of the other 97 people in the world is very small so then how do you know if you are winning this game of self mastery if you can't ask anyone if you can't read books if you can't find the answer on google or reddit how can you know if you're playing the game instead of being played by it how can you know if you're winning this game if you no longer feel emotionally affected by wins nor losses the same situation like before but had a different effect will now have no change in your behavior or the way you feel you're now in control of what happens here to master the game of life you master yourself and there is nothing left but to play as long as you have an idea of who you are or who you should be you will feel a great desire to hold on to it 
I mean, I had it for the self-image I had. I've hired more than 50 people because I saw myself as a successful CEO. I was playing the game of status even more so than the game of money. Otherwise, I would not have made such big mistakes when it comes to hiring, for example. The effect of my ideas about myself, the effects of your images of yourself have great consequences. As long as you look in the mirror and you all you can see is the things that other people have made you see, then you will never see who you truly are. So who do you see in the mirror? Do you see Michael Jackson, the magical dancer? Do you see Elon Musk, the world-changing founder? Do you see Cristiano Ronaldo, the greatest athlete of the last century? Who do you see? I mean, not I'm Jordan, 23 years old, blah, blah, blah. The image you have about yourself, the thing you are trying to become, or maybe think you already became. What is this that you see? Could it be that this ID that you have about yourself is made up by anyone else but yourself? Could it be that you're playing someone else's game and that you are maybe just competing with them? Competing will just make you very good at competing, but it will never bring you to your true potential because you will always ask the question, how can I win? So therefore you will never ask questions that are so out of this box of winning that you will never see questions that could lead to your true potential. So how do you play the game of life? The question of the NPC. What would not be a wasted life is a question of the one who may find a way to play without rules, with peace. And if you have an uh, important question that you can't find the answer to, if you want to find the truth for a specific scenario, situation in your life, but you can't seem to find it, you can always send me an email. Don't worry, I won't ask you for money. I only want serious people, for there are already so many unserious people in the world, and I do not like to converse with more of them. So if you are serious, and you may think I can help you or see, make a realization about a specific problem or situation in your life, then you can always email me. And here's my poem about the essence of this video. You traded the truth for following rules, became an NPC with fools in schools. Why did you stray from the path you knew, lost in games that aren't true? Many chase status, money and fame, but find these prizes don't ease the pain and when you reach the top they say with a sigh you see it's just like Red Bull doesn't make you fly so alone you journey seeking to find truth within a peace of mind no mirrors of showing others reflections but your own true self your inner directions so look in the mirror who do you see a reflection of others or truly deep for in that answer you may find the key to start playing the game of life. Stop playing others' games, my friend. Your mind is the end boss. That's the end.